Hello, everyone. My name is Miguel Sanchez, and thank you for viewing this video on my business plan. This is for my entrepreneurship course with my MBA program with Springfield College. Please pay attention to these slides that I'm going to present in regards to my business plan. The idea is stimulated from a need of the services. I am currently a juvenile probation officer with Montgomery County Juvenile Probation Department in Texas. And one of the things that most of my juveniles have in common is the lack of structured activities in their lives. Well, the thing is this, there's not many youth development programs or activities out there for them to be involved in. And that's a problem because Montgomery County is growing so fast and so quick. As a matter of fact, of over the 3,000 counties in the United States, Montgomery County in Texas is the 18th fastest growing county. Majority of the population is made up of people between the ages of five and 17 years old. That is our youth. So what's happening is we have a location with all these kids, but not enough resources to keep them occupied, help them grow, provide guidance. And instead, they getting involved with negativity, getting into problems, or even committing crimes. And it's keeping our juvenile detention centers at capacity. It's keeping our juvenile probation officers busy with so many kids on their caseload. Now, Currently, there are only three after-school programs in the county, but those programs are restricted and do not accept everybody. I'll go into detail on those at a later, later slide, but here is the goal for my new business. We want to provide mentoring, counseling, and an after-school program that is gonna accept these kids at no cost and it's going to produce them into young men and women that are going to be great contributors to our society. Guidance with structure produces great results. So we hop. We have one purpose. It's a 501c3 nonprofit organization out of Conroe, Texas, and Montgomery County. To give you some background on this, I am one of the founders, Miguel Sanchez, and my buddy, Kenny Scott. We met when we were in the Navy. And what the Navy did for us was it took these two young men who had all this potential, all this ambition, but no direction, no goal, no plan. So the Navy was able to give us some structured direction. And in result, we got honorable discharge and became great young men into the professional world and not contributing to the economy and society. We wanted to share our experiences with youth because we come from tough backgrounds and a difficult environment. So we thought that there has to be some kids out there who have all, these, all this potential, all these talents and skills, but have no direction, no guidance. So we hop, our mission statement reads, we have one purpose, to grow, motivate, and inspire the youth of tomorrow today. And how are we gonna accomplish that? We're gonna do that by four, five main components. One is the youth mentoring. The second one is the after school program. The third is the routine counseling. The fourth is the youth development camps. And our final one, which will be our biggest, biggest goal and project, is our residential treatment center, where kids are going to come and reside and putting them through a program similar to what the military does to these young men and women who volunteer their services. Okay. With this came an environmental and an industry analysis. So currently, if we just focus on the after school programs in Montgomery County, there's only three of them, the Oscar Johnson Center, the YMCA, and the Willis Teen Center. Now the YMCA offers an after school program 
for kids up to junior high. But after junior high, those teenagers who are in high school, they don't have a program in place for them. They cannot come to the YMCA after school. And that is a problem because that is the age group or that is the, the, the team that probably needs the most, most structured activity or program at that time. The Willis Teen Center. The only problem with this is Willis Teen Center is specifically for students who are enrolled in the Willis in the Willis Independent School District. So it excludes all the other school districts in the county, like Conroe, Magnolia. Um, what's the other ones? A new Canaan. Can't think off the top right now. But what about the Oscar Johnson Center? Again, this is a after school program with so many restrictions in place that it doesn't accept our teens. So now we have a shortage of an after school program. That is where we come into a place to establish a unique, much needed after school program for the youth in Conroe, Texas. Marketing research and evaluation. So looking at the population, we have to identify if there's a need for it and there's a market for it. So I looked into the economy and how the money's being made and how the money's being spent. The median household income is just over 76,000. With the top driving industries in the economy in Montgomery County, Texas, being retail trade, healthcare and social assistance and construction. Now the population is just over 500,000 with the median age of 37. So how are the people spending their money in Montgomery County? Some of the top expenditures were housing, transportation, food, personal insurance and pensions, healthcare, entertainment, cash contributions, apparel and services. To continue this, I also conducted a SWOT analysis on WeHop. One of our strengths here is our educated leaders, myself, Kenny Scott, Henry Cordova, and Alonzo Humphrey. Kenny Scott has an MBA, Alonzo Humphrey has an MBA, and Henry Cordova is a CPA. And here in a matter of weeks, I will also have an MBA. Experienced leaders. We bring a diverse background of history in the professional world. I have a criminal justice background with a military background. Alonzo has a criminal justice background. Um, Henry has been in accounting and, and Kenny Scott has been in the corporate for, for profit and nonprofit world. So you mix us together and we have a diverse talent and skills as far as to lead this organization. And we all have unique characteristics. One thing about us is people love to be around us. People want to be with us. That is a key component for leadership and management. You have to be able to know how to manage people. People need to want to be around you and work for you. Those are characteristics we have. But what are one of the weaknesses for we hop. Straight up, we're brand new. Nobody knows us. Nobody knows what we have to offer. Nobody knows what we're about. So we don't have a brand and we don't have clients. We don't have people knocking on our doors right now wanting our services. They need it, but they don't know that we're around. That is a weakness. But the opportunity is there because of the population increase. As I mentioned earlier, over 3,000 counties. Montgomery County is the 18th fastest growing. The majority of the population is youth. So the opportunity to provide a service is there. But this county is also a county of nonprofits. I keep throwing the number 3,000 out there, but there's over 3,000 nonprofits in Montgomery County. That can be a threat because we're all going to be trying to reach the same market or the same population, and we're going to be asking for funds and grants contributions from the same people. 
It can present a threat. It will get competitive. Now, one of the things we will focus on at WEHA is five key groups, the staff members, the volunteers, the donors, the clients, and the board of directors. We want to be able to attract talented, passionate, humble individuals who have a passion for working for the youth. We also know that our budget is not in place to have a huge amount of employees. So we're going to have to depend on volunteers. Same thing, we wanna seek those passionate, talented, hungry, humble volunteers who are willing to provide a service for the youth. The good thing about where we at is there's two big higher education institutions in the area, the Lone Star College and the Sam Houston State University with developing internships and volunteer programs will can meet that need. Another thing we, or, or another market is to the donors. We need to be able to attract these donors to keep the funds coming in. The clients, without them, we don't have a business. We don't have a service to provide. So the clients is big. We know the population is out there, the opportunity is there. We need to recruit them, attract them partnering up with the juvenile probation departments and the school districts to bring them in, to let them know that we are here to serve. And of course, the organization is only as good as the board of directors. We need talented, hardworking, passionate individuals who also are wealthy or well-known in the public, who can provide, who can be assets to WEHA. Those are five key groups we want to focus on. Now, let me talk about the management team. I kind of talked about this a little bit because I believe it's a strength. Myself, Miguel Sanchez, I have a diverse background of military, criminal justice, quality assurance, and a diverse educational background as well. Kenny Scott brings that. Henry Cordova is a CPA, and Alonzo Humphrey has worked with juvenile probation and adult probation his entire career. He has been in programming and has been the training coordinator for these organizations. He brings a diverse experience into our management, and him being the chief program director is a key part of our success, or will be a key part of our success. But the main thing about us, the four individuals you see here on this slide is that we have a passion for working with youth and we have a love for the people. We are led by unity, honesty, integrity, and want to be led by great leadership. So I am proud of the management team and I am confident that we can lead we hop into a great organization that will be a great contributor to the community and our youth. Financial plan. So to start this up, here you see a list for the equipment, the incorporation fees, the gym. So we're going to plan to go with the renting the Conroe Independent School District gym first while we work on building our own facility and we hop center. Inventory, marketing, the website. The website, we were able to get it down to $22 per month, but uh, for, for the past year, it's been $40. Utilities, the payroll, professional consultants, and insurance. This is an idea of what the financial plan will look like. Now, what is the goal or how is the community going to benefit from all this? We have core values around, revolve around the service to the community and being the best person that one person can be for their family and society. We're gonna do that by the com community development. Our services are gonna be community-based, so we're gonna go out there and build a community to make it a better place. But our main key is the human development. We wanna build these young men and women to make them great brothers and sisters and daughters and sons and great employees and access to their organizations, give them the proper education, but the proper life skills and tools that you might not necessarily find in a classroom or in a book, be able to build them up to be great people. Timeline. We have one purpose plans to open their doors to the public on March 9th, 2020. 
So in about four months, we want to be operating this after school program. Other services include the one-on-one -on -one practice program where we put these kids in weekly meetings and until they graduate their program, it's usually ranged between six to eight weeks to really identify what their needs are and specify our program towards that. The game time mentoring will also be a beginning services where we're going to match up these kids with the experienced individual to guide them throughout their teenage years. And of course, the after school hustle program. We definitely need to keep these kids off the streets and keep them occupied and prepare them for their future life. So the, uh, we plan to operate out of the Conroe High School gym and offices while our center's being built, as I mentioned earlier. And overall, we want to have the center built and operated by March 8th of 2021. This is my business plan of we hop we have one purpose to grow motivate and inspire the youth of tomorrow today created by me one of the chairman miguel sanchez there you have my phone number feel free to call me if you have any questions or you're interested to learn more about the program the address please visit our website at www.wehop.org that's www wehop.org and like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. It's easy. Go into Facebook or Instagram and find WeHop. Like us on there. Thank you for viewing my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great, great day.